Donna. This is Donna here, Donna and Jennifer. Uh, we're fixing to start burying our water line, and you can see uh, where that blue Lowe's bucket is, is where our water meter is. Can you see that on the camera? And it's going, our water line is going about 900 foot uh, north, straight through that field right yonder. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my uh, uh, metal buster to get down in Alabama, it's about five inches for the frost line, freeze line. So I'm gonna use my metal buster to do my hole because I don't have a trencher and I think it's gonna work fine. So let's get ready to have some fun. Well, hello everyone, this is Donnie and Jennifer back with you. And we have finally got our water line completed. We have put in just about 1,100 feet of water line, three quarter inch, and Jennifer can get a shot just showing you a small piece and it's, that's only several hundred feet, but we started on it two weeks ago. We we're only able to work on it on the weekends uh, virtually. So uh, when we come here, it comes in, and I wanna show you first our uh, valve this is a turnoff valve and what this is is it is a five gallon bucket with a special lid that you can buy and you dig a hole in the ground set your lid in cut your holes for your your water line to come in as you can see this is the main water line coming in this is our shut off valve here this bucket in its entirety was probably around 11 bucks 11 12 bucks they do sell these access uh, boxes at Lowe's or Home Depot. Uh, I think they probably about 15, 16 bucks, but we was trying to save a few dollars. And basically you just take your lid and you screw it back on. It just goes back in and it sets flush. Uh, from here, you can see it hits the cabin here. This is three quarter inch uh, PVC. This is the main line coming in. And I also have a, a uh, split down below that you can't see for a, a spigot. Now, along the 1100 foot of line, we have multiple spigots everywhere. We're gonna put cross fencing for animals. So we went ahead and did that so that we could be prepared to have water for the future. And we also, at the front of the property, have a shallow well that at some point, I don't know when it's gonna be, but we will put in a surface level pump and have a valve to where we can change from county to well water uh, at the flip of a, uh, of a valve. That'll be a later video on down the road. But 
You can see our three quarter inch water line coming in. This just goes up and goes into the cabin. Now, what I did when I was running the cold water, I went, around, went ahead and run the hot water side for the sink and for the washing machine while I was going to be under there. And I want to show you this here. What, because we don't have a septic tank system yet, we had to have a some way to get over the problem of a gray water tank. So what we did, since I don't have my hot water heater hooked in yet, I used the hot water line as a gray water line on a temporary basis. I have this old 55 gallon drum uh, at the house and we are just pumping our gray water in. We'll use the valve on the bottom there to drain that. That's a temporary fix. Uh, just trying to get by on a temporary basis. Uh, we, when we do get ready, hopefully within the next couple of weeks, we're gonna put our point of use hot water heater right here in this vicinity. We'll be tying in the hot water line to that as well as the cold water line so that we'll be able to feed the cabin with some uh, water. Let's come over here in the tent and uh, you make it see a little, little bit better. So what have we learned from putting water in? Well, we have, uh, we've done water lines before on a very small scale. We've repaired water lines, but we've never taken on 1,100 feet of putting our own water line in. But I want you to know that, <coughs> excuse me, it is possible for you to do it. Uh, you can watch some videos, learn how to do it. It's just a matter of the, 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 the glue or the, uh, and the primer and the pipe putting it all together, digging your holes, making sure you're under your frost line and then tying everything in. Uh, for this project, just getting it to the cabin and getting water out of the faucet, I would say we probably have about 450 bucks in the project, maybe a little bit more than that, but about $450. I do know that at the big box store, you will save money by buying in more than 10. So for instance, in our area here in Alabama, a 20 foot section of three quarter inch uh, water line run, or PVC rather, runs for uh, just about $4.90 a section. If you buy 10 and more, you get it for $4.22 a section. So you're, you're absolutely gonna save by bulk buying in a little bit of bulk. And then of course you got your small parts, you have your 90s, you have your shut off valves, you have the spigots, and, and really, to be fr quite frank with you, the spigots are, are kind of expensive. I paid, I think I paid $6 for these brass ones. And, but it's something that you can do. It's not something that you can't do. Don't think that you have to be a professional. Now, certainly, there's no problems with professional plumbers, but I'm here to tell you folks, Jennifer and I is not professional plumbers. And if we can put it in, you can put it in too. Now, on the next video, we're gonna be tying in our hot water. We're gonna be putting in our uh, shower. We're gonna do a little 32 inch shower in the corner of our uh, restroom. And uh, we'll, we want you to st uh, stand by and look at our progress as we uh, uh, build this homestead from absolute raw land uh, to uh, our dream place. Thank you for watching.